Right, farmers, it's Wednesday the 27th of March, and we're back with some mods. So first up is Floor Markings. This is by Andy Modding, 1.9 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find him in the construction menu and under decorations and others, as you can well imagine. Now, we've got a few to this pack, and there is a little, I'm going to say, quirk to it. Now, if you place them down, I mean, they're 20 each. If you place them down standard build mode, you're going to get a bit of dirt underneath. So it sort of obviously paints it, whatever. But if you place them down and toggle free mode placement, it puts them down like normal. So just bear that in mind. So we've got what looks like a bus. We've got a car. We've got a straight on and left turn arrow. We've got a person crossing, a straight ahead arrow. We then got no stopping. We then got no stopping left. No stopping left and right. No parking. No parking left. No parking left and right. We've got a zebra crossing. we got a zone for marking. we then got 50 mile an hour zone. Well, it says 50 kilometer an hour, but I suppose that all depends on what you're using. I mean, in the UK, we use miles an hour, but all right, fair enough. 30 kilometer, mile an hour, whatever. you then got cow marking, horse marking, wild crossing, although it's a deer though, isn't it? I suppose we do have deer in this game anyway, and obviously it wouldn't be right without a tractor crossing. I mean, it's, it's farming simulator, this tractor's knocking around everywhere, you've got to have one of those. And then at the end, we've got a parking lot marking, so you really could decorate your, your areas. If you had like a building, like, you know, maybe like one of the warehouses that, you know, you put stuff in and, and whatever. You could like mark out some parking spaces or some directions along the yard. Yeah, very nice. And the last new mod for the day is the TT100L. This is by Riscolatori Pazzi. Not 4.9 megabyte on the download. And you're going to find it under low loaders. Now what this is for is the rice tractor. You know the one for the metal wheels? Yeah, the sort of discs. It's sort of like that. Because you've got the channels there that they go into. Fair enough. 25 grand to buy. you then got the option of grids, flatbeds, or grids. Does those bits. And then you've got your main colour. It does the main colour. I mean, obviously, if you have got the rice tractor on the go, this could be right up your street. Because obviously, yeah, sort of any other tractor is not going to be wide enough to go in the channels. Or the tyres are going to be too wide anyway. So it's going to be sort of like for a specialist use case scenario. But still, that's all right. And we've got a few updates as well. So we've got North March Reloaded by Alice Schleswig Holstein. And there's no mention of a new save on that one. So that's all right. We've got Sugar Beet Processing Plant by Vertex Design. Small Chicken Coop by Brummy Farmer. Shed with Hydraulic Control by DD Mod Passion. Rolmaku U436SH by JMZ. The Pottinger Nova Euro Cat Pack by Agra Design Austria. And the T440 Multi Harvester Pack by Mark Thorne. Now, now obviously it's an update. Yeah, I don't normally go into the updates, but, but this has got an epic update to it. Oh, excellent indeed. Now, if you go and find it down in your mods and DLCs, obviously you've got your Multi Harvester. Fair enough, not a problem. But it goes up to 5 million litre capacity and 5,000 horsepower and it gives it a 200 mile an hour top speed. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Brilliantly ridiculous all at the same time. And then we've got these. Oh, these are it. Now, you start off, right? Ignore these first three for a minute. We'll come back to them. You've got these headers. So, all in one standard header. So, you're going to be able to do your red beet, your carrot, your cotton, your parsnips, potatoes, sugar beet, and sugar cane. All with this header. Yeah, that's all right. So, you've got this one, 5.4 meter, does 12 mile an hour. Got 24 mile an hour top speed and a 68 mile an hour top speed. And then you've got a header to go with it. Yeah. Now, if we go into them, go into this one, you've got, right, this is so ace. So you've got working whip, standard, so that's the 5.4 meter, 50 meter with a blue light, so it'll tell you where it's actually going to chop down, or 100 meter with a blue or a red light. So you've got 50 blue and red, 100 blue and red, 100 meter header doing your root crops that's insane i mean you've also got the option around here on this little gray box there decal to represent add-on choice now we'll come back to the add-ons in a minute because you've got potato sugar beet sugar cane or no because right you've got those was it seven things on the bottom now normally it would do your red beet your carrots your cotton your parsnips not a problem on its own all day of the week no problem 
Now for potatoes, sugar beet and sugar cane, they need to be topped first. So this is where these three come in. You've got the HR12 potato add-on, sugar beet add-on, and then sugar cane add-on. So these are basically just adding like the topper function to the header. Yeah. Now we come into these. <laughs> it just looks like a box. Now there is a very specific option you need to look at. Now it's got standard, 50 meter, and then 100 meter to work with the Omeo header. Now, if it's a standard, it's going to do your same as your normal standard topper. So 5.4 meter working with. So if you've gone for the Unreal one and you've gone up to 50, you need to get the same one as these. Because this is the topper. Just the topper. So if you go for, I don't know, a standard one and you've gone and got the, the 100 meter on there, it's only going to take the tops off. Of the 5.4 meters so just bear that in mind match up to what header you've got now this pack doesn't just finish there because there's some extra stuff like this the t440 forage harvester is the same type of vehicle as the first one now obviously it's got five million liter capacity and also goes up to 5,000 horsepower 200 mile an hour top speed that's insane ace plenty of colors to choose from as well but you've got these that go with it got the forage harvesters to go with obviously the forage harvester not a problem so you've got the 9 meter 12 mile an hour you've got the 9 meter 24 mile an hour and the 9 meter 68 mile an hour and then we've got a popular version and then we've got another popular version faster so 9 meter and then a 9 meter that's 68 mile an hour now if you go into these again you've got the options of blue light 50 meter Red light 50 meter, 100 meter blue light, and 100 meter red light. That's insane on the foraging. Oh, well, on those two, those three on the poplars, but you got the same on the forage harvester. Well, the header anyway, he got up to 100 meters doing foraging. That's insane. And then just to finish off the pack, you've got this the RRW 500 multi trailer. <laughs> this is ridiculous 120,000 litre capacity it starts off at 120 it just gets even better 500,000 so half a million two and a half million five million litre capacity and it tops out at 10 mil 10 <laughs> oh I can't even say it straight 10 million litre capacity on this trailer that is insane it was going to cost you 90 grand if you've got the 10 million extra 10 million i mean when we had that colossus pack it took me about 20 minutes to fill it up from the multi-fruit buying station with 5 million liters this is gonna you, you're never gonna fill it up you're not let's face it oh that's ace now here's where we get back to the old add-ons for the original harvester so i've gone and got the standard header i've gone and got a 50 meter and i've gone and got a 100 meter extra add-on so what you do, you get in there like that. Obviously, you start up, do the usual shenanigans. Uh, what's it always running? I left it running. Oh, never mind. I mean, look at the state of it. Right, let's actually let's put the uh, let's put the help menu on. That's better. I mean, I've got the five thousand horsepower one. It just rips. It really does. So you come up to it like that. There you are. No, a bit closer. There you are. Right. So we've got that attached. So what we want to do. This is what I was saying about the 50 meter and 100 meter. So I've got a 100 meter header. So we're going to put the 50 meter add on, which is basically the topper. So you just back away and you just edge up to it like that. Oh, he's out going a bit fast. And you come up to like that, you get the option. So you attach it. Yes. Right. So we're now attached. Fair enough. So let's go into our potato field. There we are, right, so just down here, we've got all our potatoes. We'll get to here like that. There we are, so at the side of the potato field. So we'll unfold, as you should do, unfold the harvester, because obviously it's not going to work without it. And what you need to do to get the light on, to get the blue or the red light, you need to turn your lights on. There you are, gone for the red one, it's like a lightsaber. It's like Darth Maul's lightsaber that comes out both sides. Oh, that's ace. So we'll now start it up. Then away we go. <laughs> oh, look. But this is what I'm saying about the old add-on there. So I've gone and got the 50 meter add-on, but I've got a 100 meter header. 
So it's only actually going to top off and harvest what the add-on allows. Mmm, interesting, interesting. So if we go back, let's uh, let's let's turn the lights off. <laughs> it looks insane. It, it looks brilliant. I mean, 100 meters doing potatoes is ridiculous. So we'll go back up. We'll swap out. And we'll get the 100 meters. So we're not changing the header at all. So we'll come like that. So we've got it on the front one. Now we do need to lower it down. So we need to go into that one. What do we need to do? We need to... No. That one. Fold header. Lower header. There we are. Then we can tab to that one. We get the option to detach the box. So then we're going and attach the other one. Oh, that's... This does rip. It really does rip. Oh, there we are. Right. So we're now attached the 100 meter one. So we'll lift that up. There we are. So we've got the 100 meter topper on with the 100 meter header. You can just about zoom out enough just so you can get an idea. So if we go into the exact same tracks as we were, more or less, there we are. So we'll turn that on, we'll put the lights on, and there we are. So we're now getting that extra 50 meters because we've now got a matching header with our topper. Oh, that's insane. I mean, I just look at the state of it. I mean, 50 meters is bad enough. 100 meters doing potatoes. What are we up to? It's like 140, well, like 150,000 liters of potatoes done. Oh, this is insane. This is brilliant. I oh, love it. So that's your mods done for you. Why not go treat yourself and pick up some Andy's Farm merch? Link in the description below. And whilst you're down there, why not hit the join button? Come join us on Andy's Farm. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But from me, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.